there, how are you doing? Welcome back. Okay, in this video, in the next few videos, what we're going to do is we're going to create a page and then we're going to customize that page, okay, so that you're going to basically build yourself a complete welcome page with it, which we're then going to integrate and upload onto Facebook. Now, what I mean by customizing is we're going to add some graphics, we're going to add some video, and we're going to add an autoresponder code. Um, and obviously our text and all of that kind of stuff, all right? Um, and then once we've customized it and made it look really pretty, then we're going to upload it onto Facebook and boom, you have a welcome page live. So if you're following along, fantastic. If you want to do this with me, that's great. So before we get going, guys, there's just a few things I'd like you to check. All right, first of all, I'd like you to make sure that you have updated your WordPress site to the very latest version. Now, if you are using WordPress 3.1, that's not a problem. Um, then uh, the, the iframe theme will work very well. If you have an earlier version of 3.1, I would urge you to upgrade, and I have just upgraded to 3.1.2. Upgrading is very simple. You will have you will be looking at a button right now that just says upgrade, and just click that. It will do it all automatically for you and it will be done in a matter of seconds. OK, so do make sure that you are updated. Secondly, do make sure that on the themes section under appearance, you have activated the theme. OK, and this is your current theme. The SNA iframe simple is your current theme. If it's not your current theme, it will be down here and it will have a little activate button underneath it. So do make sure that is your theme. OK, and then lastly, something just a little bit technical. If you go down here on the left hand side all the way to the bottom and click permalinks, that will take you through to this page. Now, what you'll have is you'll have that. That's what you'll see. You'll be set as default and uh, your custom structure will be blank. What I'm going to ask you to do is go down and click on custom structure and then in here, put forward slash percent post name percent forward slash okay now why do we want to do that because this is your URL that's what it means by a permalink so in other words it'll say www dot create a website on facebook.com forward slash and then what we're putting in here is your post name so let's say your post name was test it would say forward slash test if we leave it by default, then it will come up with lots of different numbers and things like that. And we want to make it as easy as we can for you to integrate with Facebook. So making sure that your custom structure says post name is without a doubt the best URL you can have. So forward slash percent post name percent forward slash. All right. And then just down here, click save changes. Once you've done those three things, you are good to go. So recap. Number one was make sure you've got updated WordPress. Number two, make sure that you've got the SNA theme activated. Number three, ensure that you have changed your permalink settings. So now what we want to do is create a page. Now, if you are already a current blogger, you may be very um, proficient with posting. Yeah, and you'll probably have heard the, the word posting. Um, and that's what you do for blogs. You add, you add and update posts. But with this particular theme, we don't even look at posts, we're looking at pages, okay? And that's what we want to do, we want to create pages. So underneath pages, we go to add new, okay? And so what we're going to put in here is the title of our page. So let's call it my first welcome page, okay? And that's what we're going to call our page. And there you can see the permalink come up. See, create a website on facebook.com forward slash my first welcome page two. It says two because um, I already just had a little go with one and then decided to change the way I was going to make this video. So that's why it's come up with the number two there. Um, all right. So what we're now going to do is we're going to begin to customize the page. OK, so we'll go to the next video to do that. Um, so we've, you, if you're if you've got to this point, great. We've added a page. We've added your title. Um, you can click save draft here if you want just to make sure that it's saved and it's in the system. All right. And then what we're going to do is go in here and begin to customize this with graphics, texts and videos. So I will see you in the next video.